Hello everyone, welcome back to Venkatna English Guru. Friends, we have started a small topic called uh, postmodernism. And in 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 our previous class, where I spoke about there is a close connection between postmodernism, postcolonialism, poststructuralism. So my previous video was about postmodernism in general. So friends, in this video. we are going to talk about what is post colonialism what is post colonial literature and who are post colonial authors and what were the major reasons and what what actually affected to uh, bring out the idea of post coloniality so these are the major important issues that we are going to, i am going to address in this video listen to me so friends we discussed what is modernism what is post modernism and uh, important concepts so in this video our discussion is going to be post colonial period post colonial literature okay see during post modern period literature which is written after post world war 2 is nothing but post modern literature post colonial literature during post modern period a lot of english literature post modern period which means after 1945 after 1945 or from the world war 2 a lot of english literature was actually composed from all the british isles not only just british writers english literature was also written by and writers and who came from british isles like india caribbean literature or caribbean islands or africa or or else you can say australia and other part of parts of the world a number of authors were in fact natives of ireland natives of scotland wales caribbean or indians asians of the modern period especially it can be said that much of the greatest english literature was written by the irish writers when we talk about the literature which is written during modern period there were a number of writers like w b yeats and you can see or g b shaw or james joyce gino casi samuel beckett iris modoch simus aimin a lot of literature and most of them are nobel laureates so during this period english was not literature english literature was not written, not just written by the english people and it was written by irish people americans australians indians that's what literature which is written and beyond the and the english that literature which you can say post colonial literature and these writers who came from these british isles and these writers are actually called post colonial authors next and in recent decades some of the most notable literary achievements in the english language have been written <coughs> by the natives of A recently liberated english colonies and most of the literature after 1950 60 70 and the literature was written by the writers who were actually the natives of liberated english colonies like namibia nigeria or ghana south africa or india or you, you can take caribbean islands so mo- these these were the writers who, who, were, who were actually and uh, brought from these islands literature composed in these colonies is called post colonial literature so literature which is written in caribbean caribbean islands or or nigerians or africans or asians we can say post colonial literature after 1945 literature became popular in different names friends you know and what were these names literature became literature in post modern period became popular as indian writing in english and canadian literature and caribbean literature australian literature and african literature and american literature african american literature so these were the terms which became popular only during post modernism not before post modernism so the concept of literature english literature and which became popular under these different subtitles friends 
Next, you can see these authors are often and the writers who came from this Indian, Indian writing in English, Caribbean, Canadian, African, Australian. These authors are often referred post-colonial authors. And I can give you post-colonial authors. Who are they? The popular South Africans, Doris Lessing, Nadim Gaudima, Atal Fuga, West Indians, V.S. Naipaul, who was awarded Nobel Prize for Literature in 2001, and Derek Walcott, another, another Nobel laureate, and Chinu Achube, the popular <coughs> and African, the father of modern African novel, Chinu Achube, and Paul Soinka, another popular Nobel laureate, and R.K. Narin and Salman Rusdi from Indian, the popular post-colonial writers. You can see <coughs> popular American writers Edgar Allan Poe, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Herman Melville, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Margaret Fain, Henry James Sinclair, Gertrude Stein, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and T.S. Eliot, William Faulkner, Ernest Hemingway, Thomas Wolfe, John Steinbeck, the popular American writers of 20th century. Next, friends, you can see African American writers Ralph Ellison. James Baldwin, Richard Wright, Albert Murray, Gloria Naylor, Alice Walker, the popular lady, Toni Morrison, who just passed away, another important Nobel laureate, and popular for her popular novel, The Bluest Eye, Beloved, you know. The poets, Avery Baraka, Gwendolyn Brooks, Maya Angelou, Rita Zone, and Lawrence Hansberry, August Wilson. <coughs> and Caribbean writers, my friends, you can see. George Lamming, Jean Price, Dennis Williams, Claude McKay, V.S. Reed, Dennis Scott, Derek Walcott, V.S. Naipaul, the popular Caribbean writers. You can also see from India, Rajara, Mulkrajanand, Arkinarian, and Saraju Naidu, and Ravindranath Tagore, and you can listen to Hezekiel, Kushwan Singh, plenty of Indian writers who made English literature popular in India and in the world. Next, friends, this is what uh, something, some basic concepts with regard to what is post-colonialism what and who are post-colonial authors. Some basic knowledge, basic knowledge about post-colonial writers, post-colonial author, post-colonial literature. So how during post-modern periods, English literature has been categorized in the names like American literature, African literature, Canadian literature, Caribbean literature, like different names. So, this is some basic knowledge with regard to post-coloniality and remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our videos to your friends and classmates who are serious about the knowledge of English literature and who are seriously studying MA English or BA English or English literature for different competitive examinations. See you guys and our next video is going to be post-structuralism. Thank you. Such a